welcome to the new video of our channel today we will be learning how to perform case two sample test in spss before that what is case two sample test the case two sample test is a non parametric test used to determine whether two independent samples come from the same distribution the test is based on the maximum difference between the cdfs of the two samples here are the key steps involved in case 2 sample test these are basically same as case 1 sample test only difference is the test statistic the uh, test statistic is denoted by d which equals to maximum of f1x minus f2x where f1x is the cdf of first sample and f2x is the cdf of second sample and the maximum is taken over all data points from both samples then we have critical region decision rule and p value it is similar to case one sample test which has been discussed in, discussed in the earlier video okay now let us take a question perform case two sample test to test does the emotional of the male and female are identically distributed the data set will be shown after showing the null hypothesis okay now let us consider the null hypothesis h not such that the emotional intelligence of the male and females are identically distributed so this is our data set we have serial number name of the employee gender of the respondent and emotional intelligence we have taken 39 samples for one sample case test first we go to analyze then we go to non parametric test then we go to legacy dialogs and then to case one sample case we click here after that we have to test that emotional intelligence of employee follow normal distribution or not so we click on emotional intelligence and take it in the under the column of test variable list then the test distribution normally selected so now we click on okay and we get the one sample case test table since we have taken 39 sample so we have n equals to 39 then we have the mean standard deviation and most extreme differences here we have the uh, case z value as 0.591 that is Kolmogorov syndrome of z value is 0.591 and corresponding to its its p value is 0.876 since the p value is greater than 0.05 so we can conclude that the emotional intelligence of the employees follow normal distribution as there is no evidence to reject our null hypothesis so we accept our null hypothesis Thank you for your patience hearing.